WZID has enjoyed years of success, and even though the industry is changing, we welcome some of these changes. To start with, in the last year, we've revamped our playlist. We're always taking a look at our music. The goal is making the station attractive to new listeners while at the same time respecting the core audience. It's a constant evolution. And part of that evolution is in the way we contest and how we communicate with our listeners. You know, we're always updating our music. The goal is to make the station attractive to new listeners while respecting the core audience. It's a constant evolution, and part of that evolution is embracing technology. We have mobile apps. We're very active on Twitter. We have a gigantic email database of over 30,000 listeners. And we're into Facebook and texting, of course. Both are great ways to give listeners new ways to stay connected to the radio station. And we use it for contesting, too. Uh, An example of that is our keyword cash contest last year. Listeners texted in keywords words for a chance to win cash and we build our database to over 20,000 text members in a very short time. But not everything has to be new because when you're talking about the heart and soul of the radio station, you got to stick to what we're all about and what we've been doing since day one and that is being a neighbor. Let me give you some examples. We do a thing called neighborhood block parties. We go into small communities in this area. We bring free food. We bring music. We bring climbing walls, face painting. Those are fun. That's being a neighbor. Last October, there was this freak Halloween storm, well over a foot of snow, tens of thousands of people without power. We brought in extra people to work here at the radio station, provided our listeners with the information they needed. When the Red Cross wants to have a blood drive, we're there. WZID was part of one of the biggest blood drives in the United States of America. That's being a neighbor. WZID puts on a signature event called Christmases for Kids Radiothon. Every year, we raise over $150,000 at Christmas time. That's being a neighbor. We are the originators of Bras Across the River, a breast cancer research and awareness benefit. This event was the epitome of fundraising, innovation, and oh wow. Manchester never saw anything like this before. In the course of the year, we'll partner with dozens of nonprofits in New Hampshire. They call us when they need public awareness because they know we will take their requests seriously and have enough resources and staff to get the job done, whether it's a community fundraiser or a PSA campaign. We take that same community service commitment and bring it to our clients. The WZID sales effort is three-layered. First, on air. The station is widely popular. The adult contemporary format skews females, so naturally we maintain a family-friendly image. We refer to our on-air reach as ShePower. Second, online. We've developed a myriad of digital and mobile initiatives we can offer our advertisers. Streaming, email, texting, video, it's all available. Third, on-site. Clients always have sponsor and exhibitor opportunities to tie into many of the events we produce. So WZID is a complete local radio station with a heart and soul. People in New Hampshire have come to know us as the station playing today's variety with huge contests that you can listen to with your kids. The station is famous for community service, and WZID is the only radio station that people turn to in time of emergencies. And we've been doing it in a big way since 1971.